All right, it's up in there. During a previous trek, I hiked to this incredible place with ancient ruins. It was such an interesting adventure. I have a video on it, which you should watch later, by the way, but I wanted to return and go deeper in the canyon exploring the areas we missed during my initial visit to uncover what else may be hidden there. I'm curious what we would find. Thank you for joining me on this trek. I hope you enjoy it. Today I am back in that one canyon where I found those holes in the sandstone. I was looking up this canyon on Google Earth and I mapped out. It only goes up about a mile and a half and it seems pretty flat down the center, as you can see. So I think I'm just gonna hike up here and use my drone and just spend the day just exploring around to see what else is out here. So last time I was here, I flew my drone up to these spots and didn't see anything. So that's why I'm just kind of walking really fast by them but I see another one I haven't explored over there. So there's two of them. Actually, there's three, I see. Except guess what? I don't think I've explored this thing right behind me, this little cave. So let's go see if there's any clues of any ruins or any sort of people that were there. Oh, there's something right up there on the left side. Yeah, even from down here, I can see hints and some actual things of Structures and stuff. Oh, there's like, it's like graffiti on that side. Oh, a really cool cave though. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Wow. So I just noticed that there's like built up Adobe stuff right there. I was not expecting this over here. Yeah, a little ruin. Probably a little rock shelter. Hey, look at this, it's pretty cool. So I don't see any tracks up here. So I wonder if these places don't get many visitors. This is cool to see. Just think of like the human history that's here that we have no idea about. Like I wonder how many people, if this is a rock shelter, right? How many people spent the night here? How many people stayed here? How many people were hunting down in this little canyon down here? But look down here, so there's charcoal. And I'm not sure if somebody came up with like a fire, you know, wood and made a fire up here or somewhere over there. But there's a bunch of pieces of charcoal all around and feathers. So I wonder if there's, you know, if the crows and ravens come over here to get little mice and stuff. Oh, look. Seventeen sixty-seven. That looks like, is that a seven or a nine? A little small hole right there. Hard works, sharpening grooves maybe. Just look at the ground right here. Pieces of pottery. It looks like grayware. Um, so this site. Uh, oh, what is that thing? Oh, it's a feather. <laughs> I saw like some weird color in that rock right there. It's a feather. So to me, this is like an open archaeological site, right? Like I'm not gonna go all over this place and hike, you know, hike on top of this stuff. So I'm staying on the edges just because, yeah, I wanna be as respectful as possible. But see, look at that adobe down there. There's mortar and there's rocks. It looks like there's some type of ruin here and there too. And probably over here too. All right, so I was looking for evidence of more fires and look right here. This whole buried log. Um, of course, I'm not going to dig it up, you know, but here's one piece here and there's another piece there. So, question is, how old would these be? Would they be as old as the people who made these ruins? Or did like cowboys and ranchers come by and make these and burn, you know, have fires in here? 
I don't know, but there's not really any evidence of smoke. You know what I mean? Like soot on the walls. So it's hard to say what happened here. These might just be part of the structure that were that was here, these structures that were here. And um I thought I heard something, it's just it's just a bird. Um and then like yeah, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? There's another big piece here that somebody put right here. So it has some smoke on it. Some soot maybe. Yeah, that was beautiful. Somebody made that. Like that's what just really gets me is like you see a stack, you know, a couple stack of rocks and you're like, oh that's neat. I mean, some people do. I love this stuff. I just love seeing this history no matter how small or big, you know, but seeing this pottery, it's like somebody spent the time to make the clay, to shape it, to make it into a pot. And there we are. How many hundreds and even a thousand more years ago? So again, you don't want to go over all these sites. You don't need to, you know, jump around and pick up everything and Preferably the less you do, the better. <laughs> smells good. It smells like um, trees. <laughs> smells like, uh, what are these? Juniper trees? Cedar trees? It smells like a forest. This is a really cool area. It's just fun to imagine, like these people, those uh, ruins we saw, like imagine if those are hundreds and hundreds of years old and those people were down here hunting and gathering and we're walking through that same area. It's just really cool to think about. Yeah, there's a huge chasm right here. Um, it goes pretty far. Like I could go down there, but I'm gonna hike up around this way, then over there to see if I can get across without. Oh, here's a way. Should I just do what the cows did? I think so. Yeah. All right, remember how I said I wasn't sure what we would be finding today? I already got to a great start. So I just came up the next drainage or this little small canyon. And I see two caves, one right here, and the other one you can't see, but it's just straight back that way. So I'm gonna get up a little ways and see if there's anything in there. Oh, <laughs> this is a cool little thing though. So I thought that was a cave. It's not. Yeah, see, nothing's really up here. Look how the water shaped this, this part right here. You can see just how smooth this is and it's like a little chute. Yeah, isn't that cool? Back into the forest. Man, the air just smells so clean up here. And there's no one else around. I just came down from up there. I'm hiking down here in the center of the canyon. I'm coming to the first junction. We're up left, the canyon goes up maybe like a thousand feet or so. And that's perfect to, to use my drone to just scout out a little bit.
look, <laughs> another ravine. Man, these things are annoying. Wow, that one's probably the deepest one so far. Where was that? Slippery. Do I want to go up that, or I'll uh, I'll hike up here. Okay, I'm coming to another fork in the canyon goes left about 2,000 feet this time, and then the canyon narrows as it goes up that way. But I'm gonna keep going up this canyon because it looks pretty interesting, and even if there aren't any archeological sites or petroglyphs or anything, I think um, it'll still be a fun idea to check this out. Right now I'm inside this canyon, and I'm not gonna lie, as the canyon kind of narrowed, it got a little spooky. Only because, I'll tell you why, because there's snow on the ground, right, and in the trees. And since the sun is, you know, directly on these patches and things, like this, the snow will heat up a little bit, melt, and then fall on the ground. So it sounds like something's running right behind me. And I turn around and I just see, you know, like this branch waving and like this big splotch of snow on the ground. <laughs> so it gets your heart racing, but it's good to be on edge because this is a new place. I'm the only one out here. I'm following this uh, deer trail, and that cave is just around this corner. All right, here it is. Wow, look at those amazing colors. Almost looks like veins and blood and stuff. Piece of wood. Okay, so first thing I noticed, I just set my camera down on this rock. There's a huge chunk of pottery right there. 
like it's been there for a very long time. So you can see how how kind of the dirt and mud have you know come up on it below it. If that that doesn't make any sense. All right, so my first impressions. Uh, wow, <laughs> that's my first impression. So you know how the other ones, how they kind of had a, uh, you know, like kind of like a bolt. Oh wow. So these are kind of the same way, formed by wind and water and stuff. So, huh. someone's initials, R plus F. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Look at this right here. Are those little... What are those things? Oh, look. A little donut. <laughs> A couple of them. Donut sounds so good right now. Is that mortar in there? Against that rock? It's like smoothed. I don't see any other ones. Oh, whoops, that's mortar. So that's mortar too. What is it doing there? Yeah, these are chunks of mortar right here. Oh. Huh. Confused. <laughs> that is really cool. What is going on here at this thing? Okay, look what we found, really cool stuff. All this uh, broken pottery. So you got the corrugated stuff, which is like this kind of textured. Then you got, oh, that's like a lip of a pot or something. Then you got this other stuff. So this is dark, dark pottery. Yeah, it's just kind of all over. Well, I hate to say it. This looks like someone came by and was digging in it. You know, like a pot hunter or something. Can we just not do this? Can we just not, you know, desecrate these types of places? I mean, this is probably done a while ago, huh? But still. Yeah, see, there's just like pieces of pottery everywhere. Okay, hey, look down here. Wow. So this is chert. Right here, this is what they make uh, arrowheads out of. And then look at this potter or piece right there. Lots of probably more church right here. Yeah, kind of got an angle going on that for that ridge right there. So this has been here for a while. See how it's kind of in there already. Look, there's a bunch right here. Wow. Yeah. So what happens is pot hunters come by with their shovels and their back hose and a bunch of drunk friends and they come by, you know, they'll, they'll dig down deep. They'll dig down in the sand and they'll throw whatever is not valuable in their eyes out of here. And so I bet they found these broken pieces and just chucked them all down here because there's just a lot in this area right here. And so they found probably some pots and arrowheads and stuff and kept those and they're probably in someone's basement. It's almost like a half, you know, like a quarter of a circle. Was it a full circle here or how did this look? Cause it kind of looks like it curves, right? Or am I just going? Yeah, so those look similar to what we found the other day, you know? So I'm standing up on this rock up here looking down and you can see that it looked like a square foundation. You can see uh, evidence of smoke, of soot on that side. It's kind of blacker. Um, but yeah, it totally looks like somebody came by, um, you know, maybe like 70 years ago or something. Oh, look, there's a corn cob right there. That is cool. So there's a corn cob that it's like, looks like it's like about that big. So I'm not going to go over there, of course, but I'm going to get my camera and uh, zoom in on it, get a picture. But it's hard to know what was going on here because uh, there is a lot of destruction, but it looks like maybe a square foundation, circular something up here, and maybe a granary, another something, I don't know. Yeah, so I found a bunch of glass up here, so it tells me beer bottles from a while ago. Glad we came up here, that was really interesting. Uh, I wonder who made these. Um, I'm thinking the Puebloan people again. 
But what did you guys think of this adventure? I hope you enjoyed it. Really nice to be outside. I'll see you on the next adventure.